Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. and what's that? It's pretty safe to say that there's been some concerns recently with Antwerp investing and the prospects of it actually being a good investment. Obviously the sticker sale has gone on for a very long time now and so a lot of people have started to be more skeptical. Today's video aims to look at some of the skepticism and, and to talk about what part of the skepticism is valid and what parts of it may be invalid. That and more after a quick word from our sponsor GamerPay. The sponsor for today's video is GamerPay, the official skin trading website of the ninjas in pajamas. Apart from supporting my beloved Brolins, GamerPay has a lot of great features on their site. As you're scrolling through the site, every skin is on display in a very readable fashion. You can see the stickers the skin has, you can see case hardened patterns. One of the best things about the site is when you actually go to purchase one of the skins, you can see a lot more details that you normally wouldn't be able to see on a lot of other websites, like an overview of the seller and their join date on Steam and all of that important information. On top of that, you can also see the fees that you're going to be incurring right there. There's nothing hidden to you at all. GamerPay is extremely transparent with their fee structure. After you pick up the skin that you want, the trade will automatically be filled out using your API key and sent to the person that will then have to accept it. Now, if you're interested in selling your skins on GamerPay, that is also really easy to do, and they give you a nice overview of all of the statistics for your inventory, what they'll pay you, stuff like that. Now, a revolutionary feature of this site that I was really surprised to see myself was you can actually view any skins that you're looking to purchase in 3D. Complete with inspect animation, firing animation, everything you can really think of. Anyone who sells on GamerPay can get their own 3D store that anyone can go into and view all of the skins they have available for sale. It even works with knives and gloves. I think this aspect of the site really shows how much GamerPay cares about the buyer and seller. They've clearly put a lot of detail and design into making this website a great experience for either of those two parties. You can see even more of this detail orientation. If you go into your profile page on the website, Site. You can choose the currency that you view the site in. You can choose if you want to see buff price comparisons. You can even go as far to customize the fee that you see when you deposit, which by the way are very reasonable fees. It's only 2.5% if you use your wallet or 5% if you use your card. GamerPay has a wide array of trusted partners and a really great website that was clearly built with love. So if you want to go ahead and check them out, be sure to use the link in the description below to support me. Thanks. The best place for us to start here is with the dates of the sale. So obviously we have the Stockholm sticker sale which started in November 29th and ended in January 19th of the next year. This means there was about 51 days in between the sale starting and ending. As for Antwerp, the sticker sale started on June 2nd and it's currently ongoing. That means as of today there was about 32 days since the sticker sale started. The actual effect of how long a sticker sale is is not that big of a deal because clearly people are going to buy more of the stickers at the beginning of the sale and as the sale goes on, people are going to be buying less stickers. The people that are most interested in buying stickers for a sticker sale are going to buy them at the beginning usually. But sale length is one of the correlating factors for how many stickers are in supply. Now one piece of Twitter skepticism that I was really interested in that I saw a thread on on Twitter by the one and only Ra specifically highlighted how people like to spend more money at certain times of the year. He points out how the Antwerp sticker sale started June, which is a historically pretty high activity time for the market. This means more capsules and stickers are going to be purchased and moved around in the economy, which probably means there's going to be a much higher supply than what Stockholm had. He follows up by reiterating that Stockholm may have seen a lot of success because it was during the winter months when less money is being invested into the economy, which is an important factor. The more people that have invested into an item and don't see returns very quickly are going to be dumping those off and causing less people to see returns. Also wanted to include his clarification tweet, which says that obviously this isn't the only factor for Antwerp and that it could still be a good investment and that he's not saying not to invest into it. Ra does bring up a very important point here with the string of tweets though and that's that there's going to probably be a lot more supply of the Antwerp capsules than there will be for Stockholm capsules after the sticker sale ends. The question that we need to answer is is this supply going to be a factor that drives them down and makes them not a good investment or is there going to be a stronger demand factor that will allow them to succeed regardless of their supply? It's safe to say there is a lot of demand for these stickers. They look absolutely phenomenal. Many people say these are the best stickers we've seen in many years. Stockholm was quite good too and those were a very successful successful investment. Another important point to bring up here is that foils are removed from the capsule and as I talked about in the previous video they were replaced with hollows at the pink tier and then hollows at the purple tier were actually replaced with glitter stickers. And as many of us know people love the glitter oh. stickers. Personally I have a really grand idea of how the new hollow tier is going to work and I think that's going to add some functionality to the CSGO economy for stickers because people are going to have to chase a lot harder to get hollows which look a lot better than foils did. This could and probably 
will result in a lot larger amount of capsules being purchased because people aren't able to get the hollows that they were after as easily as before. Now, it's impossible to prove the veracity of the statement that the demand will outweigh the supply, but we'll just have to see what happens as time goes on. The hollow replacement is obviously a new thing. So if you're more of a super safe investor here, I would probably recommend looking at the passes instead. Those have consistent returns across all majors, regardless of how long sales are. So if you think there's too much risk associated with the capsules this time around, that could be an option. Just purely off of how good these stickers look and how much positive reaction the community has to them, I still think there's going to be good returns regardless of the fact that this is happening during summer months and regardless of the fact that the sticker sale is kind of occurring for a lengthy amount of time and probably will occur for a lengthy amount of time, considering that we also have champion autographs, which I think was the main factor for why the previous sticker sale lasted so long. Speaking of the champion autographs, they are definitely a lot more unique and definitely a new thing to the economy that we didn't see in the previous year. They have hollow effects on gold stickers, which I think is a really cool thing. Based on the pure price levels of these stickers, obviously the community has not reacted in the best possible way to these new things, but I think as time goes on, there's going to be a bigger spotlight on the stickers specifically, and they might actually see some pretty solid returns for you. Another thing that I wanted to spotlight was that there's actually a lot of minor player autographs this year around that are seeing some pretty nice price levels because they look really, really good. This is the first time we've had autographs that look this nice. We can also see how the new hollow being classified thing is, is taking its hold on the rarity of these stickers, which is why a lot of them are able to succeed to such a high factor. I think these are definitely worth looking into for an investment prospect, and Ra agrees too. Keep in mind that the Contenders autograph capsule includes all of those stickers that I showed on screen a couple seconds ago, so if you want to cast a wide net, that's going to be your best option. Overall, while there is skepticism about the investment potential of this major, I think that there is going to be a lot of good investments here. I think Raw's statement has a lot of veracity and we probably won't see as high of price levels as we did with Stockholm, but I think there's still a lot of money to be made here. I would anticipate the sticker sale ends within the next 20 days, that's how long Stockholm's was, and they had a Champion's autograph capsule as well, so I think it's a fair estimate to make. If it ends earlier, obviously we'll have less supply in the market, and that may be enough to counterbalance the skepticism that Ra had. Regardless of all this, of course, as an investor, I am particularly excited to see how this all pans out. I think there's a lot of interesting key parts of the CSGO market economy that's going to be revealed over time, with some of these new factors, like the pink hollows, for example, or the glitter stickers, I think this will give us a more complete picture over overall of how people like to invest into stickers. If even the passes are not safe enough for you, maybe don't invest at all and just kind of see how this all pans out like me and try to complete more of your knowledge about investing. Remember to have fun with it, we're investing in game items after all. And for those of you that are investing pretty heavily into Antwerp, I wish you the best of luck. I think a lot of you will see some good returns if you hold long enough. Anyway guys, that's going to close off the video. I apologize for a bit of a shorter video, I have a flight to catch so I have to head out. But hopefully this gave you a more complete understanding of what's going to happen with Antwerp and hopefully I was able to give a better picture on some skepticisms that people may have over this major. Be sure to click that subscribe button for the best investment tips anywhere else on YouTube for CSGO, and also be sure to check out all of the links in the description below to my Twitter if you want to see me live tweeting some stupid stuff about the CSGO markets, or my Discord server if you want to go ahead and join my community of investors. Be sure to check out Ra on Twitter, he's a great guy, very smart. And of course, check out GamerPay, they're a great marketplace, and I am really, truly enthusiastic about the project that they have going there. Thanks for watching guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video, see you next time, peace.